Hey everybody, welcome to Meditation Monday. I'm Gia. Today we're going to do a fun, powerful activity called Fire Flow. So I've taught you in the past Breath of Fire. And this is going to combine Breath of Fire with some movement to stimulate energy in the body, clear out any energy blockages, and really get you centered and warmed up and focusing within. So Breath of Fire is a rapid inhale, exhale through the nose using the belly as a bellows. So when you exhale, you contract the abs in and you're shooting the air out. And as you inhale, the belly relaxes forward. So just the breath of fire looks like this. So I'm breathing in and out through the nose and I'm using the abs contracting, exhaling to push the air out. So we're using breath of fire in this exercise and we're also combining it with movement with the torso and the arms. So it is tiring, it's a lot, but I want you to focus on using your power, using your abs, really moving the air, moving the breath, and it's amazing how much it fires you up. You'll be floating, you'll be flying after you do this exercise. So it's a great thing to do before practicing yoga, uh, before exercising, or before meditating, <clears throat> because it really clears out any of this stuck energy, any of this kind of heaviness, any of this um, stagnation in the body. And it gets you really focused inward and aware of your breath and the, and the subtle energy within. So with that said, we're going to do this exercise together and then as you meditate afterward, I'll play my bowl. So um, we're combining breath of fire with movement, starting with our hands just on the ankles or shins. As we inhale, we're bringing our heart forward and gazing up. And as we exhale, we're rounding the back and tucking the chin. So that's where the abs pull in, we tighten everything in. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Really move the spine. Move the head as well. So you're lifting the chin and tucking the chin. And we'll get faster. Move the breath. We're going to bring hands on knees. Same thing, get a little faster. Use your abs. Move the air. Use your power. And then we're doing cactus arms. Same thing. Arms at a 90 degree bend. Exhaling to bring the elbows together, inhaling forward and open. Power. Use that breath. Use your abdominal muscles. Arms straight up, same thing. If you're getting tired, you're doing it right. Keep going. Use your power. Good. 90 degree bend, cactus arms. Keep going. You can do it. You're strong. You're powerful. Use that breath. Use your abdominal muscles. Keep it going, you can do it. Hands on shoulders, same thing. Power, use your core. And hands on knees, slowing it down. And hands on shins. We'll do a couple slow ones. 
Big breaths. All the way in, all the way out. And come to stillness. And just rest the backs of your hands on your legs. Close your eyes and go within. And just notice all this subtle energy you've created flowing within you. And just notice your breath. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face and your jaw. Just observe the spaciousness inside, the quiet stillness. And I'll play my crystal bowl. Take a deep breath into your nose. Exhale out the mouth. Let it go two more times. Deep breath in through the nose. Fill the lungs. Exhale with a sigh. Relax. Last time, inhale through the nose. Exhale, release. Bring your palms together, touching the thumbs against the heart center. Just feeling aware of this inner spaciousness, this quiet sanctuary within, and knowing that you can always return here whenever you need a moment for yourself, some peace and some quiet. My light within bows to the light within you. Together we are one. Namaste. Thank you for watching. This is Meditation Monday and I'm your host, Gia. And today we did a breathing and moving exercise called Fire Flow, which clears out internal energy and stagnation and creates spaciousness and awareness within. So I hope you liked it. Share with people if you did. And you can subscribe to this channel and get weekly meditation videos from me. You can subscribe to my email list because I teach yoga classes, I teach workshops, and I make music. And I made a meditation CD. So all that info will be there for you when you sign up on my email list. And I cannot wait to see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.